Oh! Hey, Ben. What's going on, man? Why are you here so early? Hey, I, uh, just got off work early. <laughs> really, man? No way. I did, too. Just now. Ugh. Are you eating my leftovers from last weekend? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. This is the only thing in the fridge. I had to take my pills. Aw, oh, man. Don't worry. I'm just fucking with you. I will be able to get more food later. Ah, <sighs> so... The district manager walks into work today, right? Just as the day decided to start getting slower, right? It's been a shitty day full of shitty people and I just want to go out with Annie tonight. All because Sam has literally no idea how to do his job. Like it's irritating. You don't work in customer service, but if I give you one of the scan things, you'll be able to use it just fine. You'll be able to use it better than that guy. God, what a pain in my ass. No, back to what I was saying though. So um, the district manager walks in and guess what he decides to bring up today? What? Oh, guess who? Nah, man, guess what the district manager decided to bring up oh. at work today? Uh, help service? Yes, dude, help service again. Do you know how ridiculously idiotic it is for me to try to convince an old woman who does not know how to use coupons to sign up for a coupon service? It's ridiculous. Nobody wants to save $10 at that place. People are only there to buy the prescriptions or get candy. It's the only two options, man. It's ridiculous. No, but I ended up leaving Sam there. Because that's what happens when you don't know how to do your job. Can't really complain. So why are you here so early? It's not as crazy as your reason. Dude, can you just tell me? So you're not just sitting there all quiet while you're eating my food? It was a- it was a tiny chemical leak. What bullshit? I'm serious. There's no way. <sighs> Fine. I won't tell you then. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. I'm a gullible fool. I'll bite. Tell me about this chemical leak. So, one of the ladies that works on the tanks noticed a tiny little dent in one of them. It was the size of a shot glass. It doesn't really matter. How big are those again? This big? She ended up calling in the company that works on the tanks in, and they made it the highest priority in the entire factory. What they didn't know is that I went in there earlier to make sure that the, that the tank was turned on so that the extra batch would be ready for later. But once they started inspecting it officially, they poked a tiny little hole in it. It was the size of a bottle cap. It's fine. So they ended up calling the fire department and everything. Kicked everyone out. Still paying us, which is just good. Wow, holy crap, man. Why didn't I see it on the news? Or like, at least hear it on the radio when I was driving here? Uh, well, no one died or anything. It was just no significant damage. Probably didn't want to worry anybody in town. Yeah, I guess that's a good reason. Well, at least they're paying you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, God, I need to eat something. Oh, hey, um, do you know who I saw on my way walking to campus today? Who? I mean, uh, oh, it's Peter, man. Oh, Peter? Really? Yeah, seriously. I haven't seen him in, it's been a couple days since I've seen him. How is he? I didn't ask him. What? <laughs> Why not? I don't know, man. It's been a bad day, and I didn't really feel the need to talk to him. Why not? He's our RA, and we've known him since, what, freshman year? I know, it's just he's... Kind of annoying. <laughs> Everyone gets annoying at times. Look, he found you, your your girlfriend, and he did find you a job. That the least you can do is talk to the guy. Yeah, well, I don't see you talking to him. Excuse me, I go to the bar every single weekend and I talk to him. I make it a responsibility to talk to him. Yeah, bars, no surprise there, man. Hey, what's your problem, man? <sighs> There's no drama happening here, Ben. So please just don't start any, please. All right, just because I help you does not make me your bitch for the rest of my life. So please just leave it. Here, have some crackers. I know these um, help you while you're drinking. What is that supposed to mean? I'm, I'm not offending you. All right, Ben, it's just, I know when you go to bars and stuff, they give you crackers. Like, they give you a little wooden bowl of them. Okay, 
No, it's fine. I'm okay. Also, it's peanuts. Now is not the time to be messing with me, man. That leak stuff was really all I could take. Today. No, I'm serious, Milford. Everyone that goes into the bar, they get they get a little bowl of peanuts. It's not crackers. Really? Yes. If you went to more bars with me, you'd remember. <laughs> yeah, I like that would help. Just because I drink doesn't give you the right to judge me. And just because you drink doesn't give you the right to force me. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, Peter and Ben really just stirred me up. If you, if you think it would be fun for me and you to go, just, just let me know. I see if I can. I need to go now. Just let me know. Give me the go ahead, and I will see if Annie can join us. You know what? Actually, let's just go now. Wow, dude, you still have a problem. No, 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 look, dude, you said you had a bad day, and a couple of drinks will help you out. I, I promise. Sure, fuck it, whatever, if you say so, let me just text Annie, she didn't have class today. Uh, no, don't text her. Why not? Oh, because it's just a guy thing, you know, it's just two bros, going to hang out at a bar, having a couple drinks, making each other feel better. Yeah, but you know what else would make me feel better? Actually spending time with my girlfriend. <coughs> Ben! Ben! What's happening to you? Sit down! Dude, what's dude, happening? There's some water! Oh my god! Hey, wait, dude, what's... What the fuck is going on? Give me some... Give me... Hmm. Uh, I think it's because of the... Because of the leak. Oh my god, dude, You said it was no big deal! What the oh. fuck? Oh, are you kidding? I'm okay. The water definitely helped. Oh my god, you wanted to go out drinking too? Fine. You can't, you can't do that to me, man. You can't. I think I'll be okay. <clears throat> you look like shit. I'm gonna go get you some of this one. No, Milford, wait! Oh, you better have a good excuse why Annie's in your bed. Ben, I need one right now before I lose my shit on you! Bill, please, just listen to him. I am talking to him, not you. I do not yell at her, Milford. Well, that is none of your business. The only thing you should be focused on is explaining this situation. But we will explain. You are my girlfriend, not his, so you will speak when I ask you to. Hey, do not talk to her like that. Are you kidding me? Do you think you're more deserving of her than I am? Is that why you slept with my girlfriend? Yes. Excuse me? All you do is disrespect people. You're always angry, and you use those people as an excuse. Well, you're the excuse now, Ben. What the hell are you saying? You cannot belittle me about being angry in this particular moment right now. Peter, Sam, even Annie and I, we'll help you out, man. And no matter what we do, you never appreciate us for it. Look at how you're treating her. You're scaring her. And what about you, man? How about you look at yourself? You are a junior in college, and your liver is failing. And you know what's even worse than that fact? Is that you use the medication as an excuse to drink more! What happens one day if you drink too much and your drunken poison ass scares her, huh? Your drinking will hurt her! Boys, please just listen to me! I am not talking to you! Go outside! Boys, stop it! Only after you! No way, man. This is the last time you make a gullible fool out of me. Go now!